Hi everybody, how are you today? Today I'm going to do a short video uh, to show how to use an LCM model with the PixArt Alpha. Uh, if you don't know what PixArt Alpha model is, uh, check out the previous video. I will have the link in the description. Uh, LCM model actually allows us to generate images much, much faster with a very low number of steps. In a matter of four steps instead of 15 or 20 steps, you can already see a great image. Let's take a look. Okay, so as before, I created a Google Collab. It looks exactly the same like the Google Collab before, with the only difference that now it loads the LCM model. And I, of course, the link as usual will be in the description. Uh, and once again, as we did the, in the previous video, you just have to click the play button in here and it will give you a warning, a notebook. In that case, just click run anyway. Make sure that you are connected to a GPU and you will have to wait around five minutes until everything loads up correctly. You will see it running in a minute. So as you can see, all the setup is occurring at this one click button. And soon you will see it loading the model itself as we've seen in the previous video with the regular model. The only difference here that instead of loading two model files of nine giga each, we will see now that it loads four separate images. This is a flag that we really are loading the LCM model and not the regular model. I'm going to pause the video and get back when the setup is done. So the setup is done and like before I just cleared the output of the initial step because I don't like all the text that is showing up. And now one thing to uh, make sure is that the number of steps is low. You don't want to go to 20 steps here because at around 10 steps the model already starts to, to, uh, to give you very bad results. And the CFG uh, doesn't have to be very high. In fact, the higher the CFG, the model will give you a worse result. So let's take um, the, uh, an apple on a wooden table and give it a go. Look how fast it runs this time. Instead of doing 14 or 15 steps, it takes two to three seconds and we already have a pretty decent image. You can even make it 1024 by 1024. So you won't say, hey, it took much faster because it's a smaller image. You can see it runs very fast and we have a 1024 by 1024 image. You can see it is very detailed. The colors are awesome. The composition is great. You can see that the texture of the wood table looks very awesome. And, um, Let's see what happens if we take the CFG and raise it up to five, for example. Now, if I will run the image, once the CFG is five, you will see that the results are worsening and the model actually loses its grip and it, it, it over-calculates the generation. So you wanna usually keep it between one and two. And just for the sake of the example, we will do small images, you can all, so do a batch of images. Oops, I accidentally showed the code. You can do a batch of four images, for example. And once I run it, it works the same, by the way, in the previous uh, collab. It also generates a small preview of the image. When working with LCM, it's much faster, so it's fun to do it. And you can see a preview of the four images. That way, if you think that the images are not exactly what you expected, you can quickly stop the, uh, the, the execution of the model. And once it's done, it will give you the list of all the images with the seed number of the images created. So just like before, let's go to my favorite site called Prompt Hero and go once again to the Mid Journey prompt. And let's see if even the LCM model will give us nice results. Let's take something like that. That looks like a very nice um, prompt. Let's copy the prompt. We'll take some sort of a similar um, aspect ratio. 
you can see that it's around 830, about 1500. So let's do something similar. We'll put it down, we'll remove the mid journey um, tags, and it was, what was it? 830, so let's do 768 on 1500. So let's do it about 1536. Let's give it a go and we'll do a batch of four images and see what we get. She had. I mixed it up, as you can see, so I can just stop the execution. I accidentally did it wider. I needed a landscape instead of a portrait. So let's reverse the order. And click play again. So that's why I created the, the preview. So you don't have to wait for the entire generation to complete until you can see the images that you're generating. So as you can see, it quickly generated four beautiful images. <laughs> that's <just> very, <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> so there you go. Now, just for the sake of the example, let's take this specific seed. We don't need batch of fours here. And let's do this seed specifically again. And this time, instead of four steps, let's do 10 steps and you will see what happens. So on 10 steps, it actually looks nice. You can see details. This is the LCM model. Hope you will find it useful. Subscribe and give me a thumb up, the thumb up or like or whatever you want to call it. And see you on the next video. Bye-bye.